literacy is popularly understood as an ability to read and write in at least one method of writing. An understanding reflected by mainstream dictionaries. In this view, illiteracy would be considered to be the inability to read and write. Some researchers suggest that the term, literacy, can be historically divided into the period. Before 1950, when literacy was understood solely as alphabetical literacy, and after print acquisition, any instance of reading and writing will always be enacted for a particular purpose and occasion, and with particular readers and writers in mind. Reading and writing, therefore, are never separable from social and cultural elements. The diversity among the definitions of literacy used by NGOs, think tanks, and advocacy groups since the 1990s suggests that this shift in understanding from discrete skill to social practice is both ongoing and uneven. Some of the definitions below remain fairly closely aligned with the traditional ability to read and write connotation, whereas others take a broader view. Some concerns over the perceived diminishment of traditional instruction in reading notwithstanding. The concept of multiliteracies has gained currency, particularly in English language arts curricula, on the grounds that reading is interactive and informative, and occurs in ever increasingly technological settings where information is part of spatial, audio, and visual patterns. In addition, since the 1940s the term literacy is often used to mean having knowledge or skill in a particular field and visual literacy, e.g. body language pictures, maps, and video. For more about reading and learning to read see reading. Functional illiteracy relates to adults and has been defined in different ways. For example a, uh, the inability to use reading, writing, and calculation skills for their own and the community's development. b, the inability to read well enough to manage daily living and employment tasks that require reading. Skills beyond a basic level. And c, the inability to understand complex texts despite adequate schooling age, language skills, elementary reading skills, and IQ. It is distinguished from primary illiteracy and learning difficulties. Between 3500 BC and 3000 BC, the ancient Sumerians invented writing. Script is thought to have developed independently at least five times in human history Mesopotamia, Egypt, the Indus Civilization, lowland Mesoamerica, and China. The earliest forms of written communication originated in Sumer, located in southern Mesopotamia about 3500-3000 BCE. During this era, literacy was a largely functional matter, propelled by the need to manage the new quantities of information and the new type of governance, created by trade and large-scale production. Writing systems in Mesopotamia first emerged from a recording system in which people used impressed token markings to manage trade and agricultural production. The token system served as a precursor to early cuneiform writing once people began recording information on clay tablets. Proto-cuneiform texts exhibit not only numerical signs, but also ideograms depicting objects being counted. Egyptian hieroglyphs emerged from 3300 to 3100 BCE and depicted royal iconography that emphasized power amongst other elites. The Egyptian hieroglyphic writing system was the first notation system to have phonetic values. Writing in lowland Mesoamerica was first put into practice by the Olmec and Zapotec civilizations. In 900-400 BCE, these civilizations used glyphic writing and bar and dot numerical notation systems for purposes related to royal iconography and calendar systems. The earliest written notations in China date back to the Shang Dynasty in 1200 BCE. These systematic notations were found inscribed on bones and recorded sacrifices made, tributes received, and animals hunted, which were activities of the elite. These oracle bone inscriptions were the early ancestors of modern Chinese script and contained logosyllabic script and numerals. Indus script is largely pictorial and has not been deciphered yet. It may or may not include abstract signs. It is thought that they wrote from right to left and that the script is thought to be logographic. Because it has not been deciphered, linguists disagree on whether it is a complete and independent writing system. However, it is genuinely thought to be an independent writing system that emerged in the Harappa culture. These examples indicate that early acts of literacy were closely tied to power and chiefly used for management practices, and probably less than 1% of the population was literate.
as it was confined to a very small ruling elite. According to social anthropologist Jack Goody, there are two interpretations that regard the origin of the alphabet. Many classical scholars, such as historian Ignis Gelb, credit the ancient Greeks for creating the first alphabetic system that used distinctive signs for consonants and vowels, but Goody Contis, 